this. What I see again, what they're asking us to do is determine the lateral surface area. Now remember the lateral surface area, L, is equal to 1 half perimeter times H. Now in this example, they're giving us a regular polygon for our base. So therefore, that's a triangle that has all the sides lengths. So therefore, if one side is 6, since it's regular, that means all the sides are the same and all the angles are the same. So therefore, every single side of this triangle is also going to be 6. So to help us find the lateral surface area, as well as the, I'm sorry, the lateral area, as well as the surface area, I like to draw it as a net. So I'm going to draw this in case like I flattened everything out on a sheet of paper. When doing that, my triangle would look something like that, all right? Or my pyramid would look something like that, where each length is 6 of that base triangle, all right? Now, I'm sorry? Yeah. So, thank you, Jake. Now, when we're looking at this, again, it says, to find the lateral surface area, it's 1 half perimeter times height. So the lateral area equals 1 half perimeter times height. And the perimeter that they're discussing is the perimeter of the base. So Malik, to find the perimeter of the base, all I simply need to do is add 6 plus 6 plus 6, which is equal to 18. Now I need to find the height of the sides. And in this problem, what they did was they presented us with the height, which is from the base to the top of this side, which is 12. So now all I simply need to do, all I simply need to do in this case is now just multiply them. So therefore, I have 9, um, 1 half times 18, which is 9, 9 times 12, which is 108. And this is in inches, so that's going to be inches squared. Then, to find the surface area, though, I need to find the area of the base, correct? Yeah. Which I um, did not actually provide to you um, in this example. So um, we'll have to. What's wrong? Okay, So now I need to be able to find the area of this triangle. I don't have the area of the base in here. So oh, I'm sorry, I don't have this triangle. All I have is the side lengths, right? So to find that, I need to be able to figure out what that length would be. Yes? OK. Now there's a couple different ways I could do that, guys. If this is going to be. If these are all equal, that means each angle is 60 degrees, correct? If each angle is 60 degrees and I cut it in half, that's 30 degrees. And then this will be 3. So now I have a triangle that looks like this, 30 degrees and 3. And I need to figure out x. So therefore, I can say the tangent of 30 degrees equals um, x over 3. x equals 3 times tangent of 30 degrees. So to go ahead and figure out the height, I'll do 3 times the tangent of 30 degrees. And 3 times mode. sixty one twenty, tangent opposite over adjacent. Oops. Opposite, 3 over x, I'm sorry. Sorry, it's 3 divided by the tangent of 30 degrees, which is 5.19. So therefore, this distance is 5.19. To find the area, or let's just round that to 5.2. Now, to find the area of that, so we know the lateral surface area is 108 meters squared, plus the area of the base, which is going to be 6 times 5.2. So now I do 108, or 6 times 5.2, and then add that to 108. And my final surface area is 139.2 meters squared. Um, now, I will tell you 
majority of your problems, ladies and gentlemen, 